Sean, the defense claims that the alleged victim in this case made the whole story up, that the woman was upset that a case against Christopher Compass, in which he allegedly tried to hire a hitman to get her, was dropped, and that the facts are not consistent with the story told by the woman. With the lead investigator on the stand, defense attorney Jim Rosenberg continued to try and make his case that his client, Christopher Compass, is innocent. The victim says that Compass, her ex-boyfriend, broke into her place and attacked her with a knife, cutting her in several places. Those are superficial wounds, right? Yes, again, not deep enough to require any kind of stitches. So it's possible that those wounds were also self-inflicted, correct? Um... It's possible. Don Shea was a detective sergeant with the Pembroke Police Department back in February of 2012 when the attack allegedly happened. She admitted on the stand that police quickly established the defendant as the lead suspect in this case based on statements. Rosenberg tried to cast doubts about those statements. For instance, the victim testified she kicked her attacker several times. Rosenberg asked about Compass's condition when he was arrested. He certainly didn't have any bruises or wounds consistent with being kicked by the alleged victim as she described, right? There were no injuries noted. Shea also admitted that the knife that was apparently used in the attack could have come from the victim's house and that no neighbors reported hearing anything out of the ordinary that night. But as to why Compass was arrested, Shea kept coming back to a simple fact. We believe the victim in this case, yes. The prosecution is expected to wrap up its case tomorrow. Then the defense gets its shot. At this point, we don't know if the defendant will take the stand. Reporting live in Concord, Ray Brewer, WMUR News 9.